Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, I want you to reflect this image right here across the uh, Y axis. Okay, so I'm not gonna tell you much more than that. I'd like you to reflect this image. And of course, this image is this uh, line segment, uh, AB. I'd like to uh, have you reflect this across the Y axis. What would that look like? So just draw a quick ske uh, sketch of this reflection and I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Now, of course, you can't, um, uh, you know, put this into the comment section. Maybe one day they'll let you actually put a graph in there. That would be awesome for my YouTube channel. But uh, just go ahead and uh, put into the comment section if you're absolutely certain that you have the right answer. Like, yes, I absolutely know. Now, along with those lines, what you can put into the comment section is what do you know about reflections? Tell me some other things that you might think you uh, know about this situation. Of course, I'm going to answer all this in just one second. Also, uh, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the correct answer here in, in just one second. This is not gonna be uh, too long of a video, but this is a problem that a lot of students could confuse. They're like, well, it's either gonna look something like maybe this, or maybe this thing gets flipped like this, right? So which one is it? You know, this you know can be confusing, or maybe it's something else. Maybe this thing goes this way, who knows? Let's go and take a look at the right answer right now. This uh, image right here reflected across the y-axis would be the following, okay? So here is hopefully what you wrote, okay? Now, uh, you don't have to have a perfect sketch here, right? You always want to be as accurate as possible, but if you, let's say you don't have a ruler or whatnot, just try to, uh, you know, draw something that is a, has a reasonable accuracy, okay? So technically, this should be, you know, you can see my graph here isn't even, I don't even kind of go too, too crazy with my graphs, my sketches, if you will, because that's what this is. It's a freehand sketch, uh, and that's what you're going to be kind of doing on test and quizzes, right? You're not going to, you know, have to measure out. You don't have the time to do that, but you just want to make your graph as accurate as possible. But anyways, if you take this image right here and you reflect it along the Y axis, you would get something like this. Okay, so how'd you do? Okay, well, if you got this right, let's go and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100%, and a few stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two about reflecting images across various uh, axes of reflection. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about a few basic things here. And, you know, when you have an image, okay, this is a big topic, in geometry, you can do th uh, various things with it. Okay, you can reflect it across another axis, uh, which would be a mirror image, or you can rotate it. Uh, there's other things uh, called um, uh, dilations, which is kind of like zooming in and zooming out. You can have what we call glide uh, reflections. So there's all kinds of different types of stuff. If you need help with any of this, I want to direct you towards my full geometry course, right? I, I get into all these various rotations and a lot more technical things as well that is going to help you out. But let's just go ahead and get into um, some real basic um, observations here and some terminology that you're going to want to know. Okay, so when we look at this, we're reflecting, okay, we're basically um, creating a mirror image. That's what a reflection is, right? When you look at yourself in a mirror, you are seeing the reflection of yourself. So it's like if you looked in a mirror, this would be maybe the mirror and this would be you, you would have some sort of image like this kind of reflecting back to you, okay? Now, if uh, just some kind of terminology here, this, if I say reflect this image, well, this is going to get reflected. So technically we call this the pre-image and then our answer is the image. That's not so, so important, but I just wanted to kind of share that with you right now. But this is what is really key, okay? So here, here's our pre-image, A, the line segment A, B, okay? Right here, this uh, uh, um, uh, image, A prime, this is called A prime and B prime, this is 
the reflection. This is the result of reflecting this. Now, if we look here, uh, I kind of wrote a couple big main ideas that I want you to walk, uh, walk away with. So the way to do a reflection is to take your points, okay, on your image, right, your vertices, if you will, and let's just kind of uh, scoot this away here for a second. And let's suppose, all right, I got to reflect this. What do I need to do? Well, we need to identify the axis of reflection. In this case, it is the Y axis, right? I said, reflect this across the Y axis. So here's the Y axis. I need to jump across. But the first thing you want to do is that this uh, pre-image, this point, when I reflect it across the axis of reflection, it's going to be perpendicular to this axis. Now, this happens to be the Y axis, but you can have an axis like there, like, like, like so, that you want to reflect across, okay? So you can have all sorts of... Um, axis, um, axis of uh, reflection. So the main idea, though, is that your endpoint here is going to be perpendicular, okay, uh, along this axis of reflection. So from here to here, this is a 90 degree angle, okay. So you're thinking perpendicular. So I'm like, okay, where's this point over here? Uh, so you basically you know, we need to have uh, the perpendicular distance. So from here to here, this distance is the same. So from A to a prime right here, it's the same distance, okay? And it is perpendicular to the axis of reflection, okay? So we're basically thinking, okay, here's our axis, here's B, so here is the perpendicular distance. So if I go perpendicular this way, okay, the same distance, this would be B prime. So this is how you uh, construct reflections. Um, you just plot these various points, these vertices of your pre-image to your image, and then you just kind of connect the dots, and there you go. Okay. So uh, the main, another main idea is that the axis of reflection is the midpoint. Okay, and it kind of already showed you right here. So this point here, the axis of reflection, is the midpoint or halfway point between the, these two points here, B and B prime, or A and A prime. All right. So stuff that kind of probably seemed pretty intuitive to a lot of you out there. But, you know, a simple little line segment, if you're reflecting it, if you want to do it accurately, you really have to think about it. And, of course, these problems can get much, much more interesting. Okay, you can have rotations and all kinds of crazy uh, images and stuff that you need to reflect. And you literally have to just take it one point at a time. All right, so this is just kind of a little kind of basic warm-up problem. Uh, in terms of reflections, rotations, dilations, glide reflections, all if all this stuff resonates with you, you're like, yeah, that's the stuff I need to know. Well, again, go to my uh, full geometry course uh, at my Math Help program, and you'll learn all of this and much, much more. Okay, so if this little video helped you out, though, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.